So what is one thing that, um, or a couple of tricks that you would use if people are a little bit more shy, a little bit more, you know, reserved, uh, is there anything to do kind of before or during an interview or a conversation? The key is listening. Uh, it was actually someone else who pointed out to me that I'm a good listener. I didn't really realize that because I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. No, uh, <laughs> but, but what what what's really evident to me is that people love talking about their favorite subject, which is themselves. And if you're listening and you hear something or when I hear something that I'm not expecting, uh, there's a mental note. I, I'm kind of a list taker, but they're all mentalists. And I will use that or go back to that. So if you're in a situation where you're a little uncomfortable, maybe a little bit uh, self-conscious, uh, the easiest way to kind of tamp that down is to ask somebody to talk about themselves. And when that door opens, then it just, if you continually do that and you continue to engage in that way by listening to what they say, engaging them on that with follow-up questions or referring to what they told you, that can take you a long way away. It can take you quite far into the, the conversation before you realize you're not nervous anymore that as long as people are talking about themselves, they'll continue until you stop. <laughs> 